Um, yeah, I wanted to build with y'all. Um, first of all, God, I want to say congratulations. You knowledge 120, right? Thank you. Peace, peace, God, peace. Um, how long did it take you knowledge 120? Um, um, almost a year, but not yeah. not not a year to like like talk like 11 months basically. Okay, so out of out of you know what you learned, like like what stands out to you the most out of 120? There's no time to wait. You know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. everything is is everything in reality is already happening. You know what I'm saying like everything's accumulating, everything's growing over time. You know what I'm saying? So now I dealing with that now I degree. Not only just the knowledge for the degree, but also the knowledge knowledge degree. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying being that I can't wait for someone else to do something for me. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying if I want to get something for myself, I have to actually go outside and get it. You know what I'm saying it's already there. You know what I'm saying I have to just grab and take a hold of it. You know what I'm saying because we're dealing with reality. You know what I'm saying and that's that's crazy, God. But how, now, now I want to ask you, how did you come in contact with the God? Well, so basically, because this this year educated, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah, the God. So basically, um, one of my brothers, like not physically, mentally, that I went to school with, we was both interested in being a part of the culture, but he actually went and found the school for himself and like mm. changed his name and went on through all the steps and stages. Is that's he still cool. around? Um, nah, he, he in and out. He's, oh, he's in and out. One of those brothers. Yeah. But he did his duty to where he sparked you. Saying so that when I was ready, he, he even um, recommended me this book right here, Knowledge Itself. Mm -hmm. And then once I read this book, it, it gave me the, um, it gave me like, I'm going to say it gave me the magnet because I already had it. But it gave me like the boost to be like, yeah, I want this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm already in alignment with these principles right here. I'm not really changing myself. I'm just becoming more of myself. I'm saying I'm already bringing out what I have then. That's, that's, that's dope. But well, what what made you uh, what what sparked you? Because before you met him, like you said, he was already interested in the culture, right? Yeah. So like before, I mean, before yeah, yeah, before he he, he yeah, your, your man's yeah. Before he he you was interested. Y'all both was interested in it, right? Yeah. So, so what was the spark? What, what what brought my awareness to it was like like hip hop music. Like right. listening to Nas, like Rock Kim, Wu Tang those different sources. And then once I seen the Wu-Tang show, it was talking about the black man being God. I'm like, oh shit, this, mm -hmm. this actually makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because I already see Jesus as black like during that time period. Mm -hmm. And then I don't see him higher than myself because I don't know that nigga. I'm that kid. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So then, like over time, I was just like, once I had like learned about supreme mathematics and I was already into like numerology, Mm. I had seen it as a more, a more simpler way of seeing it. You know what I'm saying? How we can make it more realistic, more like, more applicable. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I really wanted to know how to actually use Supreme Mathematics. And then it only made sense to come with the people who actually was teaching. You know what I'm saying? Living it out. Oh, that's peace, God. You must do your own research. As I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. If Mega did this. Mega did this.